Oh, like, welcome back. Do you like that? Do you like that theme tune? Should we have to do the beginning of every episode? I don't know. You probably won't get a chance to say because we will have done this by the time you get a chance to see this. Anyway, we're going to do the maxes now. The Beano maxes. Yeah, they again Big Brother comic to the Beano itself. The max started in. On the 15th of July, and no, over 15th of February 2007, and I believe it's going to end this month. So, we, and be replaced with Dennis's own comic. Oh, uh, so I believe I could be wrong. So, the first issue I have is number 14. It's a pretty cool issue. It's all about got the top 10 roller coasters. Shall we have a look at the top 10 roller coasters? But yeah, it's got a mini Mother Ming story where she plays with the three gifts. I'll show you them in a minute. Lots of pages for year. Oh uh, yeah, extreme ironing boarding. That was a round den. Anyone did that? Extreme iron, iron boarding. Anyway, the top ten. The Maverick and Cedar Point in America. Ultimate in Lightwater Valley in Britain. Oblivion in Alton Towers, that's a cool ride. Stealth at Fort Park in Britain. The Pepsi Max Big One in Britain. You can tell they're British. And Colossus Fort Park again in Britain. Uh, Superman the Escape in Six Flags Magic Mountain. If you have uh, um, a Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, you will have Six Flags Magic Mountain there to play. If you any gamers. Uh, next one is the Steel Dragon 2000 and Nagama Spa Land in Japan. Next one is again another cool ride for Walton Towers, Nemesis Alton Towers. And then the number one they reckon is Kinga Car at Six Flags Great Adventure. And yeah, pretty pretty cool. So there's your top ten. There they are. On the hall, sorts of rides at Alton Towers, the Flume at Alton Towers, and Vita. You should, if you haven't been to Alton Towers already, it's well worth going. I've been there a few times. The free gifts which came with this issue, I've already shown you this. It's a car, and with a key. And a one of these planes, I'll show you how it works again. Like this. And launch. And there's a little card all the way over there. Anyway, next issue. It's issue 15. Two free gifts. I believe this was one of the free gifts, I'm not too sure. And I think this might be the other one, but I'm not too sure. It's a battleport, I showed you it a while ago. All the bats are over there now. I think they have a free gifts. And an all new comic strip with this guy who's called Max and his as yet unnamed orangutan. And pretty, pretty cool strip on all that. He bought bananas and ended up with an orangutan. Just goes to show what you get when you purchase stuff of eBay. Any people purchasing Beano stuff on eBay, think again. Hope <laughs> be very careful of who you buy from. Make sure you check that they're baited and whatever. Next issue, it's issue 16. And this was free with. Mega pack which came with a Beano pen, which I've already showed you. Another issue of a Beano which I've already shown you some time ago. If I can quickly find it. No, not that one, but another one like that, of that vintage. And a fun size Beano like one of these. And of course, that Beano. And a tricky puzzle book. Of the game through, let's have a quick flick through. Max has got the prominent position of the cover now. Max, 
for name's sake of Rubino. Next issue is issue 18 and what do we have here? We have Wallace and Gromit. So between... I didn't tell you the, uh, the prices of the, uh, of the uh, Vina Maxes. They were all about £2.48 originally. The first one was April 2008. May 2008 and June 2008. This one was August 2008 so we've missed out July. It's an Olympic special, Pop 2012, but the Beijing Olympics, and we have Wallace and Gromit on the cover, because if we look through, A look through, yep, just looking through. Uh, this was where the uh, bow and arrow came from that I showed you in the other part. Don't know what about the, what the other three gifts were. Oh. Have to check that up. Because if we look through, he's now got a Wallace and Gomet strip. Wallace and Gomet and Rubino. Like they were in the Beano issue, in the birthday issue, they're now regularly in the Beano Max. So here's my dilemma. Could we now count Wallace and Gromit stuff as Beano to put in your Beano collection? Because I've got a load of Wallace and Gromit stuff. I've got that video there. I've got postcards with Wallace and Gromit stickers on. I've got that. I've also got an alarm clock with Wallace and Gromit on. So could we now count Wallace and Gromit stuff in a Beano collection? I don't know. What do you guys reckon? Our interesting thing, I also got the Wallace and Gromit comic. I used to read that at around about this time. This is number 26, Autumn 2007. And this comic was eventually replaced by the regular strip in the Beano Max. What will happen now that the Beano Max is finished? I have no idea. Maybe they'll get their own comic again. Or maybe they'll hijack Dennis and Menaces. Or maybe they'll go to the Weekly Beano. Who knows? We'll have to keep an eye out on that. Anyway, we're not counting these for the now Beano stuff. But what do you reckon? Do you reckon we should count these this stuff as Beano stuff? Or keep them separate as well as some comic stuff. What do you guys reckon? Next issue, it's issue 19, dated for September 2008 and it's now £2.50. It was £2.50 the last issue. So anyway. That will have a quick flip through. The glossy paper in this is a lot better than the uh, glossy paper in the new weekly Beano, I have to say. It's proper glossy paper, unlike the weekly Beano. And uh, now the five free gifts we have in this bag to keep the bag separate to aid storage. Let's have a quick flip through. Nothing much of interest. And this is issue 40, June 2010, and we have a few free gifts, a sticker album, a poster, and most of these have, most of these Beano Maxes have a theme, There's some, and free gifts to match that theme. Next issue, which is issue 41, it's a Harry Potter special by the looks of it, Dennis is on the front. And quick flip through. Not that. Game reviews and all that. Obviously, it's aimed at a slightly older audience than the Beano itself, but 
I have a few friends who once said to me, I don't get the Beano Max because it's too much features and not enough comics. So I get the Beano, they say, because it has comics in all through it and no and very little features. Anyway, that's enough for this part. Uh, we'll come back and do the rest of these three in the next part because we're just approaching the 12 minute barrier. Well, I say barrier, I mean, well, we don't want them too long, otherwise it'll take me ages to upload these. Anyway, see you then.